Hi, I'm Navid Ansari, and in this video, we're going to talk about animations in Unreal Engine 5. What it can do and what tools it has that we can use to make very cool games with this animation, with our animations. So without any further ado, let's begin. Before we start, please, 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 if you like my videos and you want to help me, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much. So in here, we have a content example that show you some example about um, animations and let's just go through them and show you what they are and how we can use them in a full playlist of video just about animations so like niagara and uh, material that we start from scratch and we create some cool stuff with those in animations as well it has a lot of tools that we can create some cool stuff with those and in here first of all this is introduction to show you all the tools that unreal engine has okay so first thing it's all about core asset type and it tell you that it has a skeleton that you can start the name of that with sk and in in projects in unreal engine 5 that that come with unreal engine 5 all the SK, all the skeleton the name of it start with sk next a skeletal mesh that the start the name of that is skm okay and the next animation and this naming is important because uh, when you find an animation on internet and you want to use it in Unreal Engine 5, you can use this hierarchy to retarget your character with that animation. And I will show you in this playlist of videos. Next thing that it's showing us is mirroring. So, for example, your character is right-handed and want to shoot like this, and all of a sudden it is a left-handed... I don't know how, how they... Um, grab a gun but uh, you can see it in here they automatically mirror it so root is root pelvis is pelvis but if you go down the hand l will be hand r um, the foot l will be foot right when you mirror it right and it's easy to do it's just a tools for unreal engine 5 and i will show you in a separate video next thing root motion so you can have root motion in your unreal engine 5 game and what it help you to do let me go to the next one and you can see when the root is not animated you can see uh, this player goes through this object but if you have root motion you can see that um, it detect this object it the collision of this object and in here you can see the collision um, the collision shape is not animated okay so if you want to read this you can read it just pause it and read it next additive animation that is very much cool i love blend the space and layer animations and these at the additive animations in unreal engine 5 this is just really 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 cool tools that it's for free in unreal engine 5 so you can see in here we can have a base pose and a animation and we can uh, combine two animation together. So for example, in this one, it um, holding a gun, okay? And in this one, it it was hidden. And in this one, all of those with running is blending together. And it's easy to do. It's very much easy. So you can see all the animation is together. It, this is not a separate animation. It's just a animation consists of three, one pose and two animation. One of them for hidden, and one of them for running and you can combine them together so the next one you can see blend the spaces so for example you can see in here if i drag this to right it will run it's a value between whatever and whatever so for example your character uh, max speed is 600 okay and in your blueprint you set that uh, when you add a movement character you can get the velocity of that character and with that you can change the animation and it will do it automatically it's too easy to do so you can see when we want to run slower when we want to walk when we want to just base pose and when we want to run it's easy to do and we can increase the speed of this as well and uh, unreal engine have has two type of blend spaces one of them is 1d blender space that you can use for example with the speed and the next one is 2d blender spaces that uh, you can change the for example direction so you can see it's walking and when we change the direction it blend with animations animation going to the right and to the left and with that direction we can blend them together and we have the speed with the direction in here so you can see like this and we can change the direction go left 
backward and all of that, right? So the next one is aim offset, okay? So we have a base pose and we have additive pose that we, we change the pitch of our um, aiming, right? So if I change this, let me see. You can see we can go up and go down and with blended spaces let's just go up like this with blended spaces we can uh, combine this and this pose with this pose with a run animation and it's easy to do so the next one is montage and slots okay that is another cool things about animation and i will talk about montage montages a lot so you can see this is normal okay and this is addict additive so in normal you can see it it blending one pose with a animation of running right and in additive we can have all of those and with montages with montages you can have uh, another animation blend them together and you can see it when i get close to it it get hit right next one is animation blueprints so we can uh, for example uh, we can run animation in blueprint and it's easy to do so you can see we can change the speed in blueprint and get hit jump change the pitch all of them in blueprint and it's easy to do next one is blend curve that it has linear cubic custom so all of this animation that you can see there is a lot of option on them so it has linear so it will be linearly blend two animation together this this cubic and this is custom next one is blend profile and you can see there is no blend profile you can see it here there is time blend blend profile and there is weight blend profile and you can read it through here and i will talk about all of them in separate videos inertial blends and you can see this is done a standard and it is inertial blend and if you want to read through it you can see it here next one is blend notes so you can see it it can use a float value between zero and one and it can use multiple blend okay and it can use a boolean for blending and you can use integer as well next one is a state machine so in animation in animation in unreal engine 5 we can have a state machine so and you can get the state every time that you want so for example this is the running and you can get the run cycle and if you go you can run a stop and it will go to run idle after after that a stop animation finishes and it's easy to do again so next one is blend the space graphs so graph is a another type of blend the spacing uh, that is that you can use it to have all of those blended spaces that we talk about so you can change the direction with that curve with that graph and you can change the speed as well and you can see it clearly the flip hip direction so you can see if i change the direction like this and go here you can see it changes its position and you can do it with graphs okay so the next one is layering that's cool so you have a lower part lower body animation you can see here and you can have a upper body pose or animation you can see it has a small animation in it okay so in this layer you can you can say that from this space play this animation and from this pelvis to down play this animation run animation and you can see the res you can see the result in here it blend these two animation together next one layered montages so you can uh, use montages on layers and i will talk about that a lot so in this one is upper non-additive and this one is lower additive and you can see when i go here we want to add a montage a for example changing the mags of our gun right we go here and it will change that and it will blend all of them together so you can see it here okay and if you use a non-additive you can see it as it stay there and change its magazine and if you use additive you can see in here that it run and it changed the magazine right that was all the basic but there is two more let me show you this one is for retargeting okay so let me hit f11 to go to here and you can see the cool thing about retargeting is that uh whenever you find the animation in internet you can use it in unreal engine 5 no matter how they are creating it you can retarget that animation so if you can see this is a source and these two no matter how tall they are no matter how fat they are the animation will work fine with retargeting
Next one, you can see the IK retargeting. And the IKs of our characters and animation can be retargeted as well. So next one, retargeting mannequin. That it's just an example. And next one, you can see the cool things about it. This is the source animation and doesn't matter how much bone it has it has more bone than this and it is bigger than this but it works fine with retargeting and you can see this is a smaller but again it works fine so that is called retargeting so the next level that i want to show you is this physical animation so let me go through it and in here first of all you can see all the animation and in in this one blend weight set on every bone below left arm okay so if i change this make a physics to the high you can see the left arm it's uh feeling that weight feeling that physics and you can see it in here in below a spine and you can see the blend weight set on every bone below uh be a spine and you can see it here the blend weight set on every bone below and you can see below the right up leg and you can see it clearly and you can change the weight of the bones and you can see it clearly that's beautiful right so the next one is blend animation blending left click to interact so for example let's say we want to shoot this character with the left mode so you can see it um it react to it and you can see we can change the weight change the physics on it so it will add animation when it's hit right so next one is custom constraint profile doesn't matter i will talk about it the physics animation component you can see it's like before okay and this one is physical animation kinematic route so for example let's say we want to kill this character like gta that we have it okay and it died right that's cool right so after this, I will create a full playlist of video just about animation. Very basic stuff to advanced stuff from start, from uh, importing things from internet to uh, Unreal Engine and how to use them and retarget them and add more character to our uh, Unreal Engine 5 with all of those animations. So that was it guys for this video. Hope you liked this video and, and it was useful for you. Please, 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 if you want to help me, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel. It's my honor to have you here. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.